Hey guys, this is Bola here in April this year. DJI added the Goggles 2 support to Mini 3 Pro with a firmware update, unlocking FPV flights for Mini 3 Pro. This allows aerial photography users to experience immersive flight without buying an extra avatar, enhancing their fun. Last month, DJI released the latest Mini Series drones, Mini 4 Pro, adding 04 image transmission, D-Log M color mode, and long-awaited omnidirectional obstacle avoidance system. As a model weighing only 249 grams, it can be said to be very powerful, but I found that the support for DJI DJI Goggles 2 has not been inherited. So I was wondering, can we free the Mini 4 Pro from small screen constraints and have a first person shooting experience on a large screen right in front of you? Actually, there is. Many friends may not have noticed, but the RC2 remote control paired with the Mini 4 Pro has quietly added the DP video output function to its Type-C port, in addition to charging and data transmission. In other words, as long as we connect it to a head-mounted display that can display images, can't we achieve a similar FPV effect? So what other devices are more suitable for completing these tasks than AR glasses? So today we will use this new DJI Mini 4 Pro paired with another new product I just received recently, the x Air 2 Pro to have such an experience and see how they affect it. For non-RC2, RC Pro for users whose remote control does not support DP output, I will also teach another method in the second half of the video to output drone footage to your AR glasses. First, insert the Type-C cable of AR2 Pro into the bottom of RC2. Then through the glasses, we can see the screen of RC2 successfully transmitted to our glasses. Here, let's briefly talk about why I chose x Air 2 Pro among so many AR glasses. But besides being a new product, this AR glasses have a very cool feature. If you've known about the products here, you may be aware of the bird-based AR glasses. Its screen is on top and the image of micro OLED is reflected through it, the glass projected in front. Generally, if the outdoor sunlight is enough, the more transparent the lens, the lighter your image will be. In general, the manufacturer's solution is either to make lenses very dark or require installation of a sun guard on top of glasses to block light, which is more troublesome to use. Air 2 Pro added a feature called electronic dimming to change the black level of the front panel. There are three levels. Let me show you. This is a show you can see it's almost transparent, more suitable for darker scenes like indoors, outdoors in the evening, or when you need to use it to observe outside the second level, you can see it instantly turns into sunglasses effect. This transformation is fast with no delay. It adapts to most non-low light scenes, a compromise considering screen image visibility and real world environment. The third level is obviously darker with 500 nits brightness. Even if you are outdoors, you can still see the screen clearly. On a plane, you don't want to be disturbed by surroundings or others, and you want your own private large screen space. This gear is also very suitable, so in today's drone scenarios, when preparing for flight, for example, when taking out and placing the drone, or during takeoff and landing, if visual assistance is needed from the drone, a mode for clear viewing of the external environment can be used. During flight, switch to second or third gear for clear monitoring screen. Compared to glasses without electronic variable function, it saves steps of disassembling and installing light shield and allows us to interact with outside world more conveniently. So we are now ready and have already taken off. Here I will show some actual footage inside the glasses taken with my phone. As you can see, since Air 2 Pro uses Sony's 0.55 inch micro OLED, its contrast ratio is very high. With 1080p resolution, the Air 2 Pro display looks great. Another reason I believe Air 2 Pro is suitable for this scenario is it covers 108% of the RGB color gamut and has undergone calibration by the manufacturer. Normally, this was a promotion for their movie viewing experience, but for aerial photography, in addition to a large screen, color accuracy is crucial. It can aid your understanding of colors in early shooting. If you need to manually adjust white balance, it's also more convenient, reducing post-color correction time. If you're using a remote control like RCN2 without DP output, you can use your phone's Wi-Fi hotspot and screencasting function along with the X6 BIM screencasting terminal to project the DJI fly screen into the ear glasses for viewing. However, I must make it clear that there is a slight delay and reduced stability when using mobile screencasting compared to direct connection with DP. Therefore, I only suggest using this method in open areas and being mindful of safety. Okay, we have been flying for a whole morning and all three batteries are dead. So today, the experience of shooting ends here. Let's go back indoors and continue chatting. <sighs> oh.
Overall, I think this experiment was successful. The combination of DJI's flight control and the display effect of X-Real glasses is impressive. However, I also found a small bug. When my RC2 controller is connected to a video output device like air glasses or camera monitors, if the Type-C cable outputting video is unplugged, there is a chance the remote control will restart. I suggest everyone test before takeoff if using the same flying method as me. If you also experience a restart, be sure not to disconnect the connection between RC2 and other video monitoring devices during flight. Next, before ending today's video, I want to briefly talk about the Air 2 Pro, this pair of air glasses. In addition to using it with drones like today, some of my personal favorite use cases are connecting it to my ROG Alive, Steam Deck, Switch, and other handheld consoles to use it as a portable large screen. Whether at home or commuting, it enhances my gaming experience, especially the function of the three gear lens battery changing color, greatly improving my overall enjoyment. Allow me to switch between social and introverted modes anytime. 74.7G weight with air nose pad improves comfort with soft, powerful legs. Heat generation is well controlled. Heat points don't directly contact forehead when worn normally, providing comfortable wearing without ear pressure or forehead burning. In audio, although Air 2 Pro uses open design, addition of phase cancellation technology allows it to control sound leakage very well. Allow me to present my test. Even in a calm indoor environment, although it cannot be deemed entirely silent, it is challenging to discern the specific content played inside the glasses. Another question I often get asked when making AR VR device videos is how nearsighted users experience it. As a high myopia patient with a degree of 725, this is also one of the issues I focus on when buying such devices. X-Zero's custom myopia glasses handle nearsightedness up to 1000 degree, farsightedness up to 600 degrees with ease. After my test with the lens, it is imperceptible on the screen. It will not cause glare or distortion to the naked eye. Although I'm very satisfied with the AR Pro experience, there are minor shortcomings. I Firstly, it's a common issue with birdbath AR glasses. When watching videos, there's light leakage on the back of the lens based on darkness adjustments, allowing the person in front to see a bit. However, this light leakage will be improved under darker lens levels. Another observation is that higher brightness settings may cause slight backlight leakage at the top of the screen when the displayed image is bright. Finally, let's talk about the recommendation. The price of Air 2 Pro is 449 US dollars. Due to the transparency of AR glasses, I recommend users who enjoy videos or connect game consoles while commuting consider AR glasses, especially for frequent travelers needing a portable big screen. The two most common scenarios I have used are lying in bed playing games and enjoying my private big screen cinema while sitting on a plane. Or just like today, using the R12 controller for drone photography, camping, or even relaxing on the beach, listening to the sea breeze and enjoying a movie. If any of the above scenarios touched you and made you feel that this usage is good, then I think you might consider getting this X-Real AR2 Pro. All right, that's all for today's video content. See you in the next video. Take care and bye bye for now.